Finally, back to normal in the VC. No more Team Dark. No more long-ass Smash tourneys. Just the good old Sonic Squad. And a future tier list. Seriously, thank God. Yeah, you love to see it. I was getting a little burnout out on having to socialize with, like, eight people at once. Really? And here's you calling me the autistic one. God damn, he got you there, Nux. Oh, come on, don't start with me now. That was just a running bit for one episode. Almost like how your entire show was one big running bit. Hey! <laughs> you tell him, little buddy. I mean, seriously, with all that screen time you had, it should have been called The Wade Show. Wade was fire in that show! Everyone knew about my story! They needed to know how he fit in the world! Y'all are just a bunch of haters. I mean, I was literally only in the first freaking episode. And I only had, like, the three total lines of dialogue overall. I'm mad underused, I swear. You at least gotta admit that the final battle was kinda cool, right? Oh, yeah. And those dreaded flames of disaster too, right? <laughs> oh, come on! That was just a cool graphic. Look, I don't wanna hear it. Point is, I'm glad it's out. And I'm so ready for the Sonic 3 movie. Yeah, that I could not agree more with. It's gonna be amazing, I swear. Oh, yeah. I have a lot of hope for it. Especially since video game adaptations have just been doing great financially as of late. So, I couldn't help but overhear you all talking about financially successful video game movie adaptations. Oh, look. It's Mr. I made a bajillion dollars on my mid-illumination movie. Haters gonna hate, Hedgehog. I think they did a pretty good job for my grand return to theaters. I mean, I personally thought the Mario movie was alright. Nothing crazy, but nothing bad either. Yeah. I thought it was good. I especially loved that part where everyone was driving on Rainbow Road. It looked so fire. Let's try not to spoil, buddy. But yeah, that scene was pretty cool. Reminds me of just how goaded of a series Mario Kart is. Oh yeah, Mario Kart. I'll always have a soft spot for those games. They're usually our best sellers too. They're fine, I guess. Although it's no Sonic and Sega or Crash Team Racing, I'll say. Wow, you aren't sucking up to Mario's games for once? That's a shocker. I'm not gonna be wasting my time playing a kart racer for casuals, man. The only one that isn't for five-year-olds is the Wii game. That's crazy, you red meatball. I know I'm biased, but Mario Kart is meant to be a game for everyone of all skill levels. All right, all right, let's chill out for a sec, guys. I think this little argument just gave us a new tier list to do. Mario Kart tier list, gotcha. Let me pull one up real quick. Well, you can bet I'll be staying here just so nothing is out of order. In that case, I want to real quickly thank everyone watching for all the support on the channel. We're almost at 20,000 subscribers. That's crazy. I'm so ready for that special video we got planned for when we reach that. It's going to be fun. Oh, are you guys going to be playing one of my games for this special video? No. Oh, damn. Fuck me for asking then, holy mushrooms. So yeah, keep up the good work, everyone. And thanks to all the members supporting us per usual. With that all settled, I got the tier list ready and raring to go. Everyone ready? I guess so. Sure am. Hang on one second. <clears throat> Let's -a go. All right, we can start now. Well, with the cliche catchphrase aside, we're going to be going in release date order per usual. First up is the game that started it all, Super Mario Kart. <laughs> what the fuck? Please, more like Super Mid Kart. Seriously, Nux? I know you're hating, but come on now. It isn't a bad start. Don't seriously nux me. You know this game is mid. If not, then completely overshadowed by later entries. You know, I think I actually got a side with nux on this one. There's a lot of things holding this game back. Do I even need to mention the rubber banding? Fair enough, I guess. But you need to show this game some respect. It may not have much, but at least the series was born with this game. Name one good track from this game. One good track. Rainbow Road, duh. There are a few others scattered around like Mario Circuit 2, but that's the standout. SNES Rainbow Road is like a 6 out of 10 track at Cat best. plus bad. The music was fire at least. Okay, look guys. I wouldn't call this the worst game in the series, but it definitely hasn't aged too well. I think we can all agree. Look, I think it should go in B tier at least for being the very first. Nah, screw that. Just because it was the first doesn't mean it's good. D tier easily. Well, in that case, could we compromise with a C tier? I can admit it's not the greatest. Yeah, that sounds fair to me. C tier for super. Now we're on to Mario Kart 64, which is much better in my opinion. I mean, the tracks for one are awesome. I know, right? My favorites are Calamari Desert and DK's Jungle Parkway. Such bangers. Those are some cultured picks, Tails. Uh, I'm a fan of Royal Raceway myself. Oh man, I love driving around the 64 castle in Royal Raceway. For real, when they barred off the castle in 8 Deluxe, a few tears fell, not gonna lie. Okay, okay, there are some decent tracks, I'll admit. But there's only 16 of them. And a few of them, like fucking Wario Stadium, sucks booty cheeks. Speaking of which, they replaced DK Jr. and Koopa Troopa with Wario and Donkey Kong in this one. Good picks, in my opinion. And the driving feels much better, too. 
It was the first game to introduce boosts when drifting after all. There's still rubber banding, though, and dear God, it introduced the blue shell. Actually, I didn't find the blue shell to be too bad in this game, at least compared to later entries. You can't forget battle mode, though. Dear God, I love going at it with the boys on good old Block Fort. Okay, I'll give you that. This game probably has the best battle mode in the whole series. With that being said, I think 64 should probably get a B tier, since the rubber banding is still kind of an issue, although we did get a lot of improvements. Yeah, that works for me. Uh, not bad placing so far. But next up is the first handheld Mario Kart game, Mario Kart Super Circuit. I kinda have a soft spot for this one since it was my first Mario Kart. Uh, I'm kinda whatever on this one, to be honest. It just felt like Super Mario Kart again. That's where you're wrong, Hedgehog. This game has a much more consistent track lineup, not to mention it literally has all the SNES tracks as a bonus. That's true. A few standouts for me are Sky Garden, Cheese Land, and I kind of like Riverside Park too. The rubber banding isn't too bad this time, but do I even have to mention how slippery this game feels? Yeah, it can be hard to drift, and the controls aren't nearly as tight as other entries. Putting biases aside, I do feel like this is mainly a result of the GBA's technical limitations. If you want a handheld Mario Kart, play the DS version. Yeah, that I can get behind. I'm thinking C tier above Super though. I'd personally go low B tier, but that might just be nostalgia talking. We'll just go with high C tier for now. This next entry, though, this is where it starts to get real good for me. We got Double Dash up next. Oh, mama freaking me out, ladies and gentlemen. I love Double Dash so much. The tracks are peak. The roster's better than ever, though. Oh, hell no. What the hell is this double cart goofy ass oh gimmick? My God, you bitch. It ruins the consistency of the series. Okay, now you've made me mad, you Goomba ass ball sack. Ball sack? It's clear that you need some double up Mario Bros action going on. Wait, is he calling up someone? Oh my god, bro actually needs backup to defend his mid-game. It isn't mid, you dumb freaking knucklehead. Yeah, it is. That gimmick ruins it completely. Yo, what up, what up? It's Mr. Player 2 speaking. Who am I talking to? Yo, Lou! I got this rotten meatball in the Discord hey! VC here. He's calling Double Dash Mid! What? What kind of... Oh, I'm heading over right now. Wait, wait. Mario, did you just call up Lou? All right, you slimy stromboli. Who the hell is calling one of the greatest kart racers ever made, Mid? Yo! What up, fellow player two? Also, that was Knuckles over there. I mean, the double cart thingy adds way too much stuff. And in multiplayer, it makes everything too chaotic. You clearly don't know nothing about Double Dash. The chaos is the beauty of the game. I can't tell you how much fun me and Mario have had chucking Bowser shells and giant bananas while driving on Baby Park. Amen to that, my brother. That shit's tight. Not to mention that they finally eased up on the rubber banding fully. It feels so much more fair when you win or lose now. Also, I don't know what you're yapping about, Nux, but I actually really like the double up gimmick. So true, fellow player too. Yeah, they should bring that shit back on God. And need I mention the tracks? I mean, I already talked about Baby Park, but you also got DK Jungle, Mushroom City, and Daisy Cruiser. You would pick that last one as a favorite, you fucking simp. Lay off my brother, you red bitch boy. Look. Can we just ignore this Stromboli and put this game in S tier already? Yeah, I completely agree on that for once. But now we're going on from one goat to the next. Mario Kart DS, folks. Oh yeah, this is my personal favorite handheld exclusive Mario Kart. It's freaking great. You said it, bro. Those custom carts were gas. My Poltergust looked sick as a cart. And this is where Mario Kart tracks started peaking, dude. TikTok clock, Airship Fortress, motherfucking Waluigi Pinball. Need I say more? Also, this was the first game to introduce retro tracks, which doubled the track list to a whopping 32 whole courses. Even though the retros weren't really up to par with the Nitro courses, it was a neat add-on that improved the game overall. Why the hell was Rob added into the game, though? Like, that was so freaking random, dude. I don't know why we added Rob, not gonna lie. I guess Nintendo kind of felt Felt like being out of pocket and chaotic that day. You also can't forget that this game was literally the very first Nintendo game to support online play. That alone gives it major dubs. Also, it was kind of hilarious to see people who didn't own the game be forced to play Shy Guy on local. Yeah, that was pretty good. So, I'm thinking a solid A tier for DS? It's easily the best handheld exclusive. Yeah, I'll give it to this game. It's not bad, especially for the time. All right then. A tier for DS. Next up is yet another heavy hitter, Mario Kart Wii. Oh my gosh, I love Wii! So many timeless memories on this legendary game. You said it. This is where they finally gave us the option either carts or bikes, each of which behave differently. Let's get this out of the way though. 
Who here shamelessly went Funky Kong and Flame Runner every time? Me. Me! Yeah, I thought so. I much appreciated the skill that a lot of the tricky shortcuts required. Not to mention it was chaotic without any double up gimmick. The double dash hate is still crazy, but I can see where you're coming from. Also, how could we forget about the mods? Oh, hell yeah. Who here hacked their Wii to put on CTGP? Me. Me! Oh, and Coconut Park. Enough said. The only real downside I can point out is that the game is fucking ugly. Like, geez, that's a lot of bloom! That's fair, but given the overwhelming positives, I think it gets the S tier. Super S tier. Yeah, now we're cooking with gas. S tier for Wii. All right, now we're on to Mario Kart 7. This one was kinda just okay for me. I did like the added gliding and underwater mechanics, but I don't feel like this Mario Kart really had its own identity. Not to mention that the roster is kinda weird. Like they got rid of Waluigi and brought in the damn Honey Queen. Like who the hell asked? I sure didn't, but I'm not gonna lie. They kinda cooked with the retro tracks this time. We got a ton of bangers back like Coconut Mall and Waluigi Pinball. Seven also easily has the best Rainbow Road, like it's not even a question. That's true, Rainbow Road is fire. But like, a lot of the other Nitro tracks are mid. Like who the hell cares about Cheap Cheap Lagoon? Well it certainly isn't fantastic, but it ain't bad either. At least it controls good compared to Super and Super Circuit. Yeah, that makes sense. I'll just chuck Seven in B tier then. And now we're moving on to the big kahuna everyone. Mario Kart 8. Deluxe. Whoa, whoa, hold up. Aren't you forgetting something, Sonic? Oh my god, we're not ranking regular eight separately. It's literally the same game, but worse. Mama motherfucking me, oh, this is rigged. Uh, well, I think this one is kind of a no-brainer, right? Yeah, there's no way this game is getting anything other than S-tier. For starters, this game has 96 freaking tracks, including the booster pass. That, on top of the best character roster of any main series Mario Kart game, it even has non-Mario characters like Link and the Inklings. It also has a great battle mode with plenty of game modes. One of my favorites is Renegade's Roundup, which is basically cops and robbers. Yeah, the battle mode in 8 Deluxe is way, way better than whatever the fuck Nintendo cooked up on the Wii U. The online is still pretty solid overall, and of course, the game looks goddamn gorgeous. I've never seen a Mario Kart game in such high def before. Yeah, I think that's all she wrote for the most part. S tier, no question. All right then, S tier for 8 Deluxe. Second to last on this list is Mario Kart Tour. A bit of a controversial one. Well, I, for one, don't think it's that bad nowadays. The gotcha mechanics were toned down a lot over time, and now it isn't too hard to actually grind for stuff. I don't know, man. It's not horrible for a mobile phone Mario Kart, but there ain't much substance to it. I think this game would have benefited from allowing players to pick which courses they wanted to play on. That alongside the characters. I mean, one of the whole appeals to Mario Kart was letting you race as whoever you want. You gotta randomly win some characters here. Yeah, I agree. But I can't help but just spend hours on it sometimes, so at least it's good at that. C tier, maybe? Sure, that sounds about right. C tier for tour. Wow, we actually got through the list without any D tiers. That's awesome. Wait, wait, hold up. There's one more game we got here. Uh, seriously, what's even left? It's, uh, Mario Kart Live Home Circuit. Fuck that noodle, D tier. All right, and with that mistake of a product out of the way, that's the list, folks. Not bad, not bad at all. Hey, this wasn't too bad at all. Aside from some cringe takes from a certain someone, I rock with this. Same, um, you Sega peeps are two for two with my franchise now. That's pretty damn impressive, I'll give you that. I mean, hey, we recognize Peak when Peak is mentioned. There ain't too much that beats a good old Mario Kart race. Yeah, more like Midrio Kart. Double Dash still sucks, by the way. That's it, you red fuckball, I'm gonna wahoo your bitch ass. And here's a very special shout out to Metamitis A503, D4CH34T, FireSky15, Yoshivarus25, Xmechi, Kiriatazoa, Redmond Roblox YT, Mooney Wilhelm, Juan CL, Sum X, Tommy Hart, Yellow Ives123 Blocks, Justice Outlaw8468, FFCM15, Stephen Hefner, Raquel Gomez, Money Dynamic Matanya, and finally Uzuka Scarlaboshi for becoming our wonderful members. See you later.